Hi guys, today we will gonna be doing custom chip bags. I will be using Canva app. You can use Microsoft Word or Cricut Design Space. I already had a template from one of the crafter that he sent me over email. Um, we're gonna change the photo this this template has pretty much all the instructions to it so we're gonna change the photo you can upload it into your canva app you can put whatever photo you want like your kids photo for his birthday party or what theme you want to make so I decided a Disney princess and just pretty much fit into the template where the instruction is for the photos. I want to make it like bigger so I put a bigger photo in it for the front that's that's the center one is the front side side this app is pretty easy to use but you if you want to make an elaborate design like deleting backgrounds you need to purchase the app I just use the free ones for now not until i get used to it then i'm gonna i might be able to consider purchasing it because i use it all the time especially in my youtube thumbnails so we just pretty much need to upload a photo and then just put your photo into it I had this um, lace brand of oh, I got it from SVG that's why it doesn't have backgrounds into it so I pretty much take out the background first before I upload it into my Canva app I'm uploading my baby's ultrasound picture at the back side so you can put whatever you want in there I don't have my baby's face yet because uh, she's not born yet so I'm just putting her ultrasound picture for now and you can write the thank you message on the left side if you want to have a template just don't hesitate to message me or put your comments below and I can send you a template for this ones and or the Microsoft Word ones um, there's some that use the design space too Cricut design space I never tried it yet but I might be able to try it just to make my own template on Cricut design space and that way I can see which is easier to use or which app would be easier to use but I find Canva is way easier to edit especially if you're not on Cricut or if you're not if you don't have design space or if or you're not used to microsoft word and probably photoshop will do too but um i choose this one for the video just for you to make it easier and you can purchase this template too in uh, Etsy they're selling it on Etsy 
and it's way so much easier so we're gonna put our text you can choose a font whatever font you want so I put my baby's name and you can put first birthday or Halloween's or whatever celebrations you want in there so I'm gonna put her delivery date I just decided to put her D-Day rather delivery day because I'm not really sure when she's coming out or when is when will be her birthday so this is just for a sample video I decided to make this for my husband's snack when I'm in labor I'm gonna be in labor in the hospital because I know the other day I passed out and I never made him food so I'm pretty sure this is his snack for his 12-hour shift the other day and this will this is his favorite chip so that's why I decided to make it ahead of time when I'm not be able to cook or not be able to stand up so he had some at least snacks to eat on now we need to delete the instruction guides from our templates we don't want it to show up when we print it up that's why we're deleting everything the only thing you're gonna leave is the pictures and uh, nutrition facts and we're gonna save our design so it will be our it will go through our photos once we saved it now we need a brochure paper we need a permanent adhesive glue and we're gonna print Our design so our brochure paper is 8.5 by 11 I bought it in Staples they said you can use photo paper or you can buy photo paper from the dollar store too One of my fellow crafters sent me an email. I'll show you what it looks like. He sent me all the packaging labels and everything. And he sent me instructions. This is uh, using Microsoft Word. But I never bother filming it out for you because I don't want you to get mixed mixed up but this is just a sample of um, doing it in Microsoft Word I just used my phone for editing in Canva app because it's pretty handy so we're gonna print it out from our phone so you just go to your photos and hit print 
my printer is Epson ET2720 so it's pretty much set our template is pretty much set into 8.5 by 11 for the paper so I'll just hit print I never used photo paper but they said brochure paper is way so much nicer when it comes to printing than the photo paper so let's see you can just hit a comment below if the photo paper is way better than the brochure paper and then just let me know and I can try printing it through photo paper so this will be the output it's glossy that's why it looks like it looks like the same as the chip bag So I just decided to print four of those. You can use whatever printer you had at home, but I highly recommend this printer because it's way so much easier for me, especially during print and cut from my design space. And it's so convenient for me to print from my phone to this printer and from my laptop to this printer i think this is like 300 dollars i'm not sure because this one i bought it like last year so i forgot the real price of it Now we're going to assemble our chip bag, so we need chips, the smaller version of the chip, we need our paper, the one we just printed out, we need permanent adhesive glue, I bought it from Michael's I think. Or you can find it in Walmart or Dollar Store too. And we need the Frisker scissors. I think that's $12 in Walmart. And now we're gonna put glue on each side. So I just use that one in that way it's not going to be so messy. But you can put double sided tape or whatever you want. I think that glue is way so much easier. So we're gonna glue both sides and top and the bottom part. Some of them they just make a U shape but I think I would glue all sides. Make it more sturdy. Now we're going to fold it. It don't have to be perfect, but just close the both ends and then to cover up the whole chip. And then close the upper part too. 
same thing with the other side. I don't really cut off the excess one because the white thing on the sides are pretty much perfect. The difference for the regular paper and the brochure paper, I think the brochure paper is way so much thicker. It's just like a cardstock and it's kind of glossy too. So I highly recommend using brochure paper than the regular paper for this one. That way it will be more realistic. Then after that, we're going to cut off the edges. Some people use paper clipper to make it more realistic for the sides, for the upper part, I mean. But I don't have it, so we're just going to use the first scars scissors to cut it off you can make this for birthday parties baby showers Easter basket giveaways Valentine's Day or Halloween parties. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty easy thing to do. You can make it at home. Any moms can do it for their kids' birthday party. It's not that expensive to make. As long as you get your printer and the paper and the chip of course you can put whatever it's not just the chip that you can put inside you can put toys and everything on it you can put whatever you want and don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel possibilities are endless you can do it and see you again soon for my next video. Thank you.